Hey guys, this is Kamikaze Watermelon and Top Tier Sloth, and we are back in Armored Core 5. Not gonna Hello. concern ourselves with tiny little dumpling penises. Uh, let's no, see. No, no, that would be really weird to bring up without any context. Nope. Uh, so anyways. <laughs> how do I... So it is the physical blade. Ooh. Bah. Sorry. Like you okay? Cord just wrapped around a key and then it hit the table and yeah. Give me a little spook. Oh! Uh, give, give me a little stortle. Stortle? No, I'm, I'm so, so tempted. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I, uh. Um. Uh huh? No. Uh huh? Uh, the back. Uh huh? I need to make sure that this data has been surveyed. Mm. This one's been a, a decent workhorse. Now it what should be this one here. I'm a mobile close range medium by pedal. There. Now. I think I still have those light parts. Although it's, it's a them. pain in the ass to get anything to fit on the light legs like at all. Yeah, this game, once, especially because you have no real mobility in the air, like, it seems to be kind of pointless to go with light for anything. I mean, I moved really fast. It was super nice, but I couldn't carry anything. All I could fit was, like, one or two guns. Yeah. And I'm sure it makes your uh, overboost stuff a little bit better, but even so. Yeah, you fly around, but it's ha it has no lasting power, like, in the, in the story missions. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let me... Man, I oh, wish this thing the story had more My god. Could you imagine trying to do that last mission with a light build? Like, come on, man. <laughs> no. But just, like, who's who would that be? Who would want to torture themselves that way? It was a KE missile? Asiano. So it's a high damage one. It looks cool. Get yeah. it. Now, I want... And you got a new to, blade, right? Yeah, I'm deciding... I think I'm going to put it here. Murakumo? Give him the good cut. Wow. Slicey, slicey. Is that a pile bunker? No, it's it's a giant knife. Huh. Let's, okay. uh, let's go give it a quick testy test before I get out there and get my uh, shit pushed in. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if I can add enemies there, right there. Yeah, it could be. Which is weird that they don't even, like, they already had training mode figured out. I don't know why they had to change it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't like that. That was, uh, poopy. All right, let's give him a cut. Okay. It, you did it. Was it a slash or a thrust? What was that? Oh, he reverse arms it. Man, that seems horrendously what? ineffective. So it opens up out of his elbow, and then he swings his elbow. That's so dumb. <laughs> but it, you, That's you could get so much more range by just flipping it around. Uh, oh, and, and considering the fact your momentum is completely fucked, trying to do it that way. Yeah. Uh, you have, like, no power behind it. Yeah, no, it's dumb. It's dumb. But if I can land it, it'll there's hit reason, hard. There's a reason why nobody in history backhands their weapons. It's because it's fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, the, the rare occasions where that is the case, it's almost strictly a defensive move to put more of your arm behind it. <laughs> it's either that or to throw somebody off for a millisecond while you fucking try to stab them with your other hand or some shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Right. Nobody's no, sitting there it's... like, let me start off this fight with backhanded sword. Like, Ta Tanfa is on the only stabbed thing. In the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Tanfa are like the only thing I can think of where you would actually yeah, want to do that. They're like designed to be like flipped around for shit. Like. Right. Tanfa's I'm wondering are, if there's like uh, any hidden parts out here. Weapon. Probably. Any parts out here? Hmm. <laughs> fall directly into the water. Go for a bit of a dip. Yep. 
I guess not. Okay. No luck. I'm gonna give you it a try. You gotta shoot the ceiling light a thousand times and it'll bust open and give you a secret part. <laughs> no, I hit the wrong button. Go back, go back. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> there goes another three minutes of our life. Activating combat mode. God, I wish I could just normalize circle being the go button on everything so that my brain doesn't get confused. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna leave it and give it a shot. This way. All right, I think what time throws for me the off next. Is, uh, uh, about like button controls is some older PS2 games will use, uh, well, not older, but like a lot of PS2 games will use triangle as their back button. That, yeah, that, that is weird. Fucks me up because it's like it's usually either circle or X, and then <laughs> occasionally just triangle. PS1 where. games had a lot of games that did that too, where the triangle was yeah. the back button. It was always like the exit or the get out of here button. That's strange. Anyway, go Generally, on. Generally, it was circle equals go, X equals back. Yeah, which is makes for the, sense for if the you're Japanese following the Japanese they, stuff. Right? They changed it in the English one to just be bottom button equal go, right button equal mm -hmm. back. Uh, corporation. Okay. The mission failed. Evade the corporation's pursuit and quickly pull out of central command. Yeah. My command. Wonder if I should take like a tank to these missions so I don't run out of fucking health so much. <laughs> Having successfully breached central command, a desperate resistance fought their way valiantly to father's doorstep. But the corporation was quick to silence any hint of celebration. Father's power crumbled to dust along with his tower, taking the dauntless resistance unit and father himself with it. Okay. So mission complete. We're good. Go so I guess it. I guess Go we. Play my Xbox. We supposedly got destroyed Leon. in that. That's why. Oh, no, Leon. It can't be. Wow, that was, that was very Resident Evil 4 ish. We've there. lost this one. Pull out immediately. <laughs> Leon! No, I'm not going. Leon! <laughs> now, all I wow. can think of is that fucking picture of Leon on the jet ski with, no, with no. what's her name. <laughs> it's she's she's just like, I want you to pound my pussy. And he's just like, no way. He's got this <laughs> stupid look on his face. <laughs> Uh, Shit is so funny. I'm ordering your immediate withdrawal. You can't tell me what to do. There should be an entrance in the vicinity. Oh, the good old Maymays. Head underground, quick. <gasps> oh, hey, yeah, that's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, could you give me directions, please? Yeah, um, take a right here. Let's go straight ahead. No, keep going straight. Keep going straight. Take a right. Okay. Blow up that dude, then hang left. Sir. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to do something, but. Wow. Oh, that was an AC, too. We're gonna... They're all ACs. All of them are oh, called AC. Right. I forgot. It's not special anymore. Now you're just a dime a dozen. I was hitting you. That's not fair. Yeah, Stop I don't. I wouldn't me. recommend standing in front of it endlessly. It's I'm not stuck. I can't great. move. <laughs> I missed. Here comes another one. <laughs> Dude, he's got me stun locked. Here's your route. There. Uh, the perfect offense. Let me just. Did he not you in die? The face six times. Man, this sword kind of blows. All know, that you need to get effort his, it takes to, get to hit minigun. one enemy. Oh, that guy man. was just punching me. He was just punching <laughs> just me over and over. He just stood there and got punched in the face six times in a row. Every time great. he swung, I couldn't move. He had me stun locked. <laughs> yeah, it was staggering you. I saw it in the corner, but didn't make it any less funny. <laughs> eh, leave me alone. I don't want to play anymore. What the hell is happening anymore? System combat mode. 
Okay. There you go, you did it. Yep, somehow fell into the correct System. hole. All right. I did. Pure skill. 10% pleasure, 20% pain, 30%. Double um, mint gum? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Did you? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to put it on the screen. I need you to mark this. For me. So there's a billboard that went up in Kentucky. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. it's just a picture of a dude, and it says, "This man consumes 20 gallons of liquid cheese a year. We cannot stop him." <laughs> it's the best fucking thing. I'm gonna send you a picture of it. Okay. It's so good. I'll have to see. Depleted. Why does this billboard exist? I don't know. It does. It's not an ad for anything. It's like a parody of the craft logo. I'm stuck again. Somebody must be. I have be no HP. My HP is actually empty. Somebody. Wow. Go ahead and take a look at that. <laughs> In a year. That is a hey, real billboard that is up right near my friend Will's house. It's fucking amazing. It's why 20 gallons of whiskey? It's so much cheese. <laughs> it's so much. I love how sad the guy in the billboard looks. Yeah, he doesn't look like happy about the fact. Or healthy. <laughs> he just kind of is like, yep, that's how I eat. <laughs> I eat liquid cheese because it's my favorite food. Never built a, a pallet. It feels like it's some direct attack on some guy. Like someone just paid the money to have that put up. I w you know what? I bet you it's a uh, probably one of those people that like has a very specific type of food that they like to eat, and uh, somebody's probably uh, making a big joke about it and saying like, since you eat nothing but liquid cheese, <laughs> we'll put it up there. I have I have a couple friends like that that are just they refuse to any, eat anything that's not a grilled cheese or chicken nuggets. Oh, or, I've known yeah, or, I know or people like that. One guy at work who eats only spaghettios and the McDonald's burgers, and that's it. And oh. it's just like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? But, I knew I was gonna get. No, he's fucked always right just there. like. <laughs> he's always just like I don't need you know anything fancy. I I, I just like the you know and I'm just like yeah it's fine but like. Your taste buds must be bored out of their minds. <laughs> and your, your body, it needs nutrients. Oh, no, I don't think that dude's worried about his nutrients. <laughs> I think it's, uh, God, that's safe to say. Is he just like a sickly pale at all Main times? System. Activating combat mode. No, no, he's a character, all right. I'll have to I'll have to bring him up more after our recording here, considering I work with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't be describing anybody from work. No one knows who you are. No one watches. <laughs> Next day I get fired for bringing up work stuff. No, um, no, he's just, uh, he's an interesting dude. And he's, uh, uh, he comes to work with mutton chops and, uh, he's just strange. That's the best way I can put it. <laughs> Not necessarily bad, just strange. There we go. Okay. Can't see shit. Can't tell if I'm going the right way still. <clears throat> Think I am. I couldn't imagine not being not eating a whole bunch of food like that. Like, yeah. I gotta that's... try new stuff all the time. Like I can't not eat new food. That's my wife's family. It's like if it isn't boiled chicken, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Just, I don't, it's like, it's like people are almost proud of the fact that they don't eat different kinds of food. It's they like, are. Okay. They are absolutely that. Like, what is, wh why, I mean, sure, like, you do you. I don't even care, but I just find it interesting. And it's, it, it's got to come from the fact that people have probably tried to force these people to eat certain kinds of food and then they just refuse and in, like become hard-headed about it in this case they road. were forced to eat what they eat and so that's all they'll eat mm. it's like this is the only thing they were given this is the only thing mm. because and it, and it comes from a literal like whenever someone would offer or recommend something else for them the parent uh -huh. would say ew that's nasty and so the children uh -huh are now, ooh, that's gotcha. nasty, I won't touch it. 
Like that, well, that stuff friends. rubs off fast. One of my friends just had like uh, some bad trauma with like people trying to force him to eat food that like he just didn't want to eat and they would just like force him to sit there and not move and like you either eat the food or you sit there for hours and hours and hours. So as you can imagine, somebody telling you, hey, you need to try this imme immediately triggers the, hey, you don't tell me what the fuck to eat response. <laughs> that uh, that happened to me too. If you yeah. want to win. Somebody has to oh, Artie's still alive, and he's attacking us. For me, I just don't like us. the texture of beef. I just don't like the texture of beans. That's pretty much my only oh, yeah. food thing. I specifically refried beans. I could actually eat baked beans and various dishes with beans System. in it. But Scan mode. once you put re a pit, like a, a spread of refried beans on a tortilla, I suddenly am not interested in that at all. But anyway, enough about this game. Let's get back to my interesting bean talk. <laughs> my god, you get stuck in that knife animation forever. <laughs> well, he's got to unfold it, then refold it, you see. And then he's got to retract his mus muscles that, is, that are definitely on his mech. Um, nice. I was about to cut him. I really don't have anything against you guys. <laughs> Yeah, he looks so top heavy. Yeah, it does. Just trip the fucker. I was see, I was mid swing to cutting him with that thing. <laughs> I just can't help but think at how much more effective it would be if you just stabbed somebody with it instead of I know, to do this right? weird fucking backhand slash. If it just shot slash. the knife forward. <laughs> yeah. Like a pile bunker, maybe. <laughs> like, like anything Scan besides mode. this weird like. And considering it's like on a joint when it unfolds, you know it's gonna be significantly weaker than just, you know, being already unfolded. It's just weird. I don't get it. Scrap collection D! Um, but when I was in middle school, I think like fifth or sixth grade, uh, it was in it was in a grade where there was still recess. They they this was back when sure, okay. schools could just say you need to take Ritalin. Uh, and sure. then they would give you Ritalin. Um, so okay. they they did that to me. And uh, then when it was recess time, it was, Ritalin is a extreme appetite suppressant. Like, I was mm -hmm. not hungry at all. And they would force me to sit in a chair, and they'd put a sandwich in front of me and say I couldn't do anything oh, until I ate it. And that was every day oh, for awesome. uh, months. Idiots. Uh, part of the year, probably. Uh, and um, so that I was not allowed to go to recess for like several months. I just had to sit in the room by myself, staring so dumb, at a sandwich that, that I couldn't eat. Uh, and then when my grandmother found out, apparently she went in there and tore that place. Like she bitched that place apart. Like she was pissed right. and they stopped giving me Ridlin. And then I was allowed to go to recess again. System scan mode. So dumb. But I really- I remember I had uh, taken a little bit of Adderall System once like a few years back. And man, does that System stuff completely <laughs> suppress your appetite. Like, I had never felt not being hungry before until I took that. And then I was looking at food and just like, I do not want to eat this. I have no yeah. interest in putting this in my mouth. That was like, the exact Like, there's nothing feeling. in my body that wants this inside me. Uh, and it's like, I never understood that feeling until that moment. And then now, now I sympathize with people who are like, taking that medicine or anything similar to it. Like, if, if you, if it's like an appetite suppressant, like man, it is tough to get food down. Like, you've got to really force yourself to, like, chew on something that you don't care about. <laughs> System combat mode. So, yeah, that sucks that they made you do that. Yeah, it was not a fun experience. I never got to go to recess because I always was in detention, but that's a different <laughs> That's story. a very different situation. <laughs> it's because my friend and I just couldn't stop goofing off all the fucking time, so... We'd always end up in detention together, and then we'd goof off more in detention and just get more detention. That, was, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, and actually, most of the time, it was because I never did my homework, so... I also didn't like doing homework. Oh, God. I was so, so terrible about it. It's actually the landscape? only reason I passed 
<laughs> the only reason I passed high school is because we switched the block system for our classes, which meant we got um, essentially two 45-minute uh, blocks. Or a regular class would be about 45 minutes, right? And like a, a seven-period school system. And in this case, it was four classes a day, and they were an hour and a half each. So, but the pro good thing was for us that their syllabus is syllabus wasn't like updated for that type of system. So half the class would be us getting the teaching, and the other half would be basically free homework time. So my oh. my grades shot up dramatically being able to do my homework in class. You know, actually having time for it. That's what being I started able to ask doing. questions, all that kind of stuff. Like. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have ever passed high school. It's almost like doing schoolwork in a school setting where it's easier to focus is a lot better than trying to do it at home yeah, where there's dude. a distraction. Well, not just distraction, but like, you know, like it's... It, there's just not that, that environment for it. Like, you're not... You know, be, if, you're, if you're struggling with something, you can't just rely on, you know, your family to get everything. Some things, sure, like basic math or whatever, but... You know, if they're Dude, not being this... taught whatever subject you're learning, they're not gonna know shit about it. <laughs> this thing scared the piss out of me. <laughs> what is it doing? It thing's it's nutty. just making so much noise. Come here. It's also stupid annoying to fight. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Why come it's so quick? Stay in that hole. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And you got it. I missed. I missed. Swing. There it is. Did it die? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Not even kind of. Come back here. Hey. Cut that out. Jesus. <laughs> hey, got him. Got him. There's another one on the map. No good. I'm going the wrong way, but I wanted to see if there was anything hidden over System. here. Scan mode. <laughs> Well, you got about, uh, seven minutes before your episode's over, so... I'm glad you're looking, because I've got Discord blocking my screen. <laughs> oh, you're good. No, I got my timer up. Okay, there's a garage there, but I... Uh, maybe I do need it. He kicked my ass. Yeah. Scan mode. Roger that. I'll be right there. Roger that. Let me fly my... Helicopter. Oh, okay, there's a roof access. Never mind. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna, like, fly through the halls and meet you in here. Uh... Repar. Whoa, whoops. No, no. I think... I think we're gonna retire the knife. Give me back my shotgun. There we go. Main system activating combat mode. The energy machine gun's doing good though. System scan mode. I don't know why I thought I was gonna yeah. jump up there. <laughs> what did you think this is an armored core game? <laughs> I just where you can just fly up to ledges easily and conveniently. I just impotently hopped and looked at it. Funny. Looks like we're home free. <laughs> No, no, what you should have done, like a true professional, is run up to that wall and then smash against it over and over until you're up it. RD, was it? You. You turned RD against us? Sorry, I'll never be able to get over the, the weird design change for that. doesn't realize it. Biggest flaw. He doesn't exude that genius air. Not yet. He needs time. And that AC was really just some hand-me-down we had lying around. Why, you... Why you? Why I oughta? Why, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've gone through this same, hey. like, silo thing about 12 times now. With the same damage and the same debris. I can't see. You're actually see. in a simulation right now. Oh, no. Oh my god, finally, something happened. No can do, babe. <laughs> Sorry to sound crass, no, do, babe. I'm gonna need that little AC of yours to disappear. Just try it. You've lost once already. Are we just having a standoff here? To tell the truth, though, I actually dislike serious confrontations like this. I have no clue. But on the uptight side, wouldn't you say? 
Who's even talking to who? It's him. He's talking to her, but I don't know where she is. Yeah, that's what was confusing me, because I only saw two ACs there. <laughs> there was no, one was me. Party. Hey, that's fucking ah. cheap. Yeah, there's just a quarter of your health missing, thanks to that. Real cool how they just sneak that in there. God, this fight is giving me some AC1 parking lot, or parking garage <laughs> fight vibes. System combat mode. He's stuck. Just the random bouncing AC in the background while you're <laughs> unloading everything on it. Bitch. Hey. Oh. Like I said, this is the end. Yar. I'm assuming this thing's unmanned. Didn't I tell you? This my thumb's broken. Self-destruct sequence initiate. Uh, what? Uh, what? Never mind. He's just gonna grab this piece of rebar. That is not how that three. works. So he's he's probably an AI. What? Okay, now he's got a fiery piece of rebar and steel. Have fun. I, I feel offended. System scan mode. I, you know what, as silly as that was, it's like the most interesting thing I've seen an AC do in one of these games in, like, years. <laughs> and in fact, I don't recall a single time an AC taking something from the environment and using it against you, so... That's true. I guess kudos to this game for doing something, something novel. And he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. Well, it was cool looking. That's, that's, that's how I felt, too. Hurt me more, Snake! <laughs> That's what you all are. I'm not gonna uh -huh. lie, I really like the, the, the voice actor doing the Chief. I, I rather like his performance in this. Yeah, you know, voice acting's here and there. Some of them are hamming it up pretty hard. Some others are doing okay. The delivery is always still no complaints. To, like the uh, I think I think their performances are all quite good. I think they're all doing a really good job. Right. I feel like the delivery is really stilted because it's probably one of those situations mm. where they didn't have like a good view of what was going on. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they didn't even see the gameplay or cutscenes or anything. It's always uh, interesting. You can tell some games like when people are voice acting <laughs> when they don't know the context of things and you know, like the characters in game like looking like they're screaming and the the person voice acting them is just like not putting in the same intensity <laughs> you know what i mean right or the opposite where like they're screaming but the in-game character is like not being that intense so it's just like sometimes there's that disconnect when people aren't actually paying attention to like what they're voicing for so i got this a... what the uh, good uh, director is for for sure right i got a burst pistol is what it gave me interesting uh, but that ended exactly in time. It did. Uh, so yeah, if you that that actually wasn't that bad. That fight felt pretty good. Aside from him like jumping down my throat a few times, that that felt right. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fight with RD the, felt the pretty good. Uh, everything else about the mission was stupid, like the getting lost in those hallways because <laughs> everything was just like a same muddy brown mess. Um, but that's right. just PS3 era games. It's you, you can't really get away from it. Uh, yeah. But the uh, the overall uh, fights were good. I like that. Good. Uh, so yeah, if you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and we will see you in the next one. See you.